For number 6, he says, An apartment building contains 12 units consisting of 1 and 2 bedrooms apartments that rent for $360 and $450 per month, respectively. And this word means that the 1 bedroom apartment will cost $360 per month, and the 2 bedroom apartment will cost $450 per month. When all the units are rented, the total monthly rental is $4,950. And we are trying to find out the number of the two bedroom apartments. So as you can see, we have two things that we don't know. Namely, we don't know how many of the one bedroom apartment that we have. And we also don't know how many of the two bedroom apartments that we have. So we must come up with two equations because we have two unknowns, right? And you know this is going to be a system of equation situation. And this is how I want to show you on how to solve these kind of questions. First, we have two things to worry about. And let me just draw a picture for you guys to illustrate the question. Let me just draw this for the one bedroom apartments and then we also have the two bedroom apartments right here, right? And for this one, let's label the price. We know this is $360, so let me put it down right here. Just that when you go out to rent, they really label the price at the apartment, right? For the other one, we have $450, so let me put that down right here as well. And now let's get to work. First, we don't know how many of the one bedroom apartments that we have. So let me just call that to be x. Likewise, for the two bedroom apartments, I don't know how many I have, right? Let me call that to be y. But there's one thing I know. Because altogether, we must have 12 units. So this plus that must be a total of 12, right? You may have five of these and then seven of these altogether, they have to be 12. You may have three of this and then nine of this. I don't know. That's why I've just put down x plus y is equal to 12. Then the next thing we do is that we are going to take each price times the quantity that we have for each one. So we'll put down 360 times x plus 450 times y. Okay, we multiply the price and the numbers of the apartments that we have. This way, when we add them out together, it will give us the total rental that we can get, which is the 4950 and then, as you can see, this is the system of equations that we can use to solve for x or y. And now we have two choices. We can use the elimination method, or we can use the substitution method, and it's up to you. And I wanted to show you guys with the elimination method. In my opinion, it's usually better than the substitution. And anyways, the elimination method means that we are going to somehow get rid of one of the variables. We can get rid of the x, or we can get rid of the y. Once again, up to us. But then let's refer back to the question. It says, we would like to know the number of the two bedroom apartments. And that's this right here, right? The Y represents the two bedroom apartments. This is the one bedroom apartment. And this right here was for the two bedroom apartments. So let me also label that right here. Well, in this case, I do not want to get rid of the Y because I want to solve Y. Let's get rid of the X. And to do so with the elimination method, you see right here, we have 1 in front of the x, right, technically speaking. This is 360. Let's take the first equation and multiply everything by negative 360. Because this way, the number in front of the x will be the same, but opposite sign. And let me proceed. Let me put on the result right here. For the first equation, we will get negative 360 times x, that will give us negative 360x, and then negative 360 times positive y, that will give us negative 360y. And this is equal to negative 360, don't forget to multiply with 12 as well. And then we will get negative 4320. You can just do the computation on your own right here, okay? And then for the second equation, it will stay the same. So let me just write it down again here. 360x plus 450y. This will be 4950. Then what we can do is just add up these equations. And you will see that for the first part here, the negative 360x will cancel out exactly with the positive 360x. And that's the purpose of the elimination method. And then we can continue. This is negative 360y plus 450y. Together will give us positive 90y. And then this is equal to, and just add this up, negative 4320 plus 4950, we will get 630. 
At the very end, we can just divide both sides by 90 so that we can get the y by itself and we see that y is equal to 630 divided by 90 that will give us 7. And then we are done. We just need to solve for the y value because the question is only asking us for the number of the two bedroom apartments, which is just the y. And the answer to this is choice E, lucky number 7. We are done. That's it.